YouTube, the Dope Pair is back with a, somewhat of an early release for you guys this evening. Um, this shoe drops on the 24th, which is Friday. Uh, you see the box. Uh, I kind of want to get into it because from the pictures I've seen, uh, I think the co overall concept of this shoe is kind of ridiculous in my opinion, but we will open it up and uh, give you our opinion and uh, let's, I want you guys to let me know down in the comments how you feel about the concept of this shoe. But before we do that, what's going on, Mama? Same shit, different day. And we are PG-13. <laughs> but uh, anyway, also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're first time stopping through. Thank you very much for the people that have been rocking with us the last... Um, I don't think we've been doing it quite a year, maybe nine, 10 months, 11 months, maybe, but we greatly appreciate you guys. We're, uh, almost there. I'm not even going to say any more and hex it. So let's get into this shoe. As you can see by the box, this is the Jordan one prototype that, um, uh, releases on the 24th. So let's go ahead and read the box. Air Jordan one retro high OG colorway white. Total orange, multicolor, size 10. There you go. Now let's take a look at that box again real fast. And uh, you'll understand what this little dotted K and the E and the rest of that swoosh mean as soon as we get in that shoe. But uh, I think the box is kind of cool. Kind of interesting. What do you think about the box, Mama? Yay. Different. You okay? Mm-hmm. I don't, <clears throat> I don't even know how you tell. Like you're when you say, you know what this is by the box. I don't, but well, I'm sure I'm, all the sneakerheads. Oh, yeah, because I'm not the first person to review it. I'm actually behind because I've seen people uh, have reviewed this two or three weeks ago, a month ago. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure people have seen this when I show the box. They should know, but if not, I get what you're saying though. Got a two. E So let's go ahead and get into this because uh, I'm sure this shoe is going to have a lot of conversation. Let Mama show it to you right quick. Jordan 1 prototype. Wow. Not a bad shoe. Now, once I get into all the other stuff, then people are going to be like, what the dickens? Okay, uh, we'll run through this shoe. Got your Jordan 1 bottom right there, the black outsole. We go to the side sole, which is white. that wraps around the entire shoe. Uh, we'll go through the laces to get them out of the way. It does come with four sets of laces. You have black that come in the shoe, white, blue, and orange, so uh, plenty of options there when it comes to the laces. Let's tuck these in here so we can talk. Uh, we're going to start off with materials first. What do you think about material? You do have a um, white side panel with uh, the leather doesn't feel that great to be honest. On the side panel and the heel feels kind of kind of cheap in my opinion. But then in this light brown around the toe box and up the eyelets. So here you have new buck. Really nice feel on that. I'm digging that. Up the eyelets as well. And then at this, uh, what kind of blue? I guess it's baby blue maybe. Sky blue. Here where the uh, Air Jordan ball and wings are. That is also new buck. Everything else is that, I don't want to say cheap leather, but it does feel kind of It cheap. feels really soft to me, especially so? on the toe. And this isn't. This doesn't feel like leather. That gray doesn't. If it is, it's not. That's 3M. I was going to get to that in a minute. Oh. Yeah. Actually, like Mama said, this little part right here behind the check is 3M. I can't really get it to show up my light. But you have 3M there. Now, see, when I have the shoe facing me, you can tell. Yeah. Weird. I got to fix my lights. And also, you have a hint of 3M right around the toe box. I can see that. Too. Yeah. See that little bitty strip right in there? I can't. My lighting isn't the greatest, but uh, trust me, you do have 3M there and on the side. And then you have uh, like a dark blue around the anklet and right here. Now, I don't know if you know this, Mama. Do you, 
Are you curious why there's little marks right here? See your shoe? See the, the stitching? Yeah, the little marks. It's not stitching. Those little marks right there that wrap around. Whoa, that wrap around. I wouldn't have noticed it unless you said okay, something. Okay, now, for those that don't know, I'm going to explain to you what that is. Um, and I did see the video too, and I, and I don't know the guy's name, but a while ago, uh, <coughs> a huge sneaker tuber cut his Air Jordan high down to like a low and this is where he cut it to make a low so he cut all this off and made it into a low so um from what i've gathered my research i've done nike saw this and like hey why don't we put something out like that so this little check line right here is where you're supposed to cut the top portion of your shoe off that's what it looks like when you're hence, in, when you're in grade school and they give you the dotted hence, line to cut on while you have the dotted lines on the other side of your nike there Ah, that's not stupid. Exactly. <laughs> Just, that's what I said. When you see it, you're going to be like, what is going I on? If I wanted a low, I'd buy a low. Thank you very much. Now, I'm going to say... And once you cut it, you can't put it back. No, so ain't that's no going stupid. back. Once it's done, it's done. So here's my thing. You are going to pay $170... To cut your shoe. To cut your shoe. That you could pay 100 bucks for. Yeah. Which, I mean, if you want to cut it, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not going to cut it. I think that would look absolutely ridiculous cutting the top of this shoe off. Like Mama said, just go buy low and keep these as high. Uh, what they did here with the color blocking, all that, I think that's kind of interesting. I love the color Personally. blocking. Oh, I forgot that. And you have an orange Nike sign there and an orange Nike Air on the black tag on the tongue with a black tongue. But back to what we are talking about. some inner orange yeah. in there, too. I don't. I just don't understand why you do that. I like the shoe as is this way. I mean, it's not the greatest shoe in the world, but I think it is very decent. But why in the world would you want to cut that off and, and basically ruin it? You're stitching, all your stuff will come out. There's no way for you to stop that from happening. You know what I mean? Well, it's the same concept. Um, and <clears throat> boys, you guys can tell me, and, and Jeff, wasn't there a shoe that you, that I, I don't remember if it was a Jordan, but you could cut something else off of it and there was a different color underneath. Oh, that was, uh, they had a couple of them, but the one you're thinking of that I had is a Jordan 5 Low. You could take the um, the fabric off the top and it would show you like a floral design yeah, or whatever yeah. that underneath. Yes, yeah. That, which I never took mine off, I think that will be okay because you're still not ruining the shoe underneath. But this, you are absolutely ruining this shoe by cutting this off. When again, like Mama said, go buy a Low. Because it's not going to be cut exactly the same way. Like, it, that doesn't, when you do that. Well, I'm like, trying to cover, yeah, cover it where doesn't, it would be cut. It looks, it looks more silly. Like, in between a low and a mid, it doesn't really Actually, look like a. I don't think I have anything even close to that colorway. My gray. No. I mean, just, can you just grab one low, anything back there? So you're you're basically I can't cover it. Oh, it. I see where their line is now. Yeah, there's your line. You're basically cutting that off and and hold that one for me, please. And there, I mean, look at that. I mean, first of all, I think that's a, a hideous colorway if that's your low. That brown with that. I mean, I, I don't like that at all. I like the colorway. I mean, if you take this off. I like the colorway if you take it off too. Really? However, if you think they're not going to come out with a low in this shoe, you are sadly mistaken. I, I because they will do it just because I don't know. It's an oh my gosh. Right, and 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 folks, don't get me wrong. That's this is just our opinion on cutting the shoe off. What? Oh, good lord, she's tearing up the set. <laughs> I mean, I I like the shoe as is, just like this. I think the shoe's fine. Color blocking is decent. It's not you know not the ugliest shoe. It ain't the greatest shoe ever. But it's not bad the way it is right here. Personally, if you're going to throw these little hints of orange in, I almost would have liked to see that swoosh be orange. You know what I mean? Yeah, then it wouldn't but be you can do this too and pop those in there and there's your orange. Yeah. So, uh, boys, what do you think about that concept? I kind of like it, okay. but I would feel like if you cut the, the blue part off, the tongue will be too long. Yes. It weird. Yes, the tongue will be too long. Because it comes up. Look how far True, it comes but up. I mean, people do wear their shoes in that kind of weird fashion. Uh, the, um, 
Oh, I can't think of the unions, I think. They had a big tongue that you could take the stitching out and fold that tongue up higher. I mean, it's just what people like. I would not cut it off, and I agree with you, too. <laughs> and I agree with what your mom's saying. Money, what do you think? I mean, it's okay. Like, it's not cut off, I think. It's okay, but if you were to cut it off, which you don't have to, but if you were to cut off, I think the colors would match more. But the, t the tongue would be really long. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to envision it, kind of. Yeah, that's like a, you can go out in uh, umpire baseball games. This would be like a shin guard, you know, getting the shin with the baseball. Right. So uh, what, what are you going to give it, Mama? First, I want you to give me a number first as a high, and then you give me a number if we were to cut it, which we are not going to do that. So before you told me about the dotted lines, I was thinking over here, man, I'll give that an eight and a half. I really like these colors. I like the way it's put together. I really mm -hmm. like this. I do not like this concept, and that would take it down to about a six. So we're at an eight and a half high. And I'm not saying six low. I'm saying the concept, this whole cut me, cut off the top, makes me think six, not eight and a half anymore. If, well, I mean, it doesn't. I'm, I look at this as a straight high, and that's it. So I'm going to give this a seven. And if it was cut off and someone brought it to me like that and asked if I want it, I'd be like, no. I would. I would wear that shoe. I, I would, I would wear that low. I like that. But why not just make a low colorway like that then? No, I'm saying I, if that was a low, yes. I don't like the concept of cutting it off. But All right, that's what I'm saying. So in essence, Nike kind of shot themselves in the foot. You could have sold this as a high, no, no cut print lines there, and then made a low like that. Yeah, but it's the it's the gimmick that gets people yeah. to buy the shoe. Yeah. Sometimes gimmicks are trash, in my opinion, and this might might be one. But you know what they say: them them shoes that are gimmicky that nobody likes is always the shoe that sells out. The next time you turn around, that shoe was sitting somewhere for five hundred dollars. It always works out like that. But I just wanted to let you guys get a gander at this, and uh, let me I'm getting to them. Let me know down in, in the comments what you guys think about this shoe. Are you gonna keep it a high, or are you gonna cut it? What do you think? Mm, I think how it is right now, with the blue, without cutting it, I'll give it a good eight. Okay. But if you cut it... Trash. Yes, absolutely. But if you could fix the tongue some type of way, then I think I'd raise the rating. Jaden? Six. Just overall six? Wow. So what if there was no cutting? Still a six. Wow. You don't like the colors? I mean, I like it. I just don't like the blue. I mean, it does give it an extra pop, but... Yeah. So you can see it... Oh, man, I just can't get that 3M to hit right. But it's there. there. It is. You yeah, see Yeah, a little bit. So uh, I can't even remember all these numbers. <clears throat> just straight. Eight and straight. a half for Mama. Six because of the cut marks. Seven for me. Eight. Eight from the Young King. Trash if you cut it. And I was also trash if you cut it. And a six from... The other young king because he don't like the blue. It's a tough crowd here, but hey, that's why we're here. Everybody gives their opinion. That's what it's all about is giving your opinion. Again, these drop Friday the 24th. They retail for $170. So uh, good luck. And again, let us know down in the comments, will you rock it this way or will you rock it this way? And we will catch you in the next video, people. Peace. Peace.